wave energy or also known as sea wave energy is energy utilized from the ocean or sea wave. Wave energy utilizes the best kinetic energy stored in vigorous vertical motion or surface ocean wave to perform beneficial tasks such as production of electricity, desalination of water, and pumping of water into reservoir. Wave energy is a renewable resource much like solar, wind, and geothermal energy. So, what is renewable energy? It is unlimited, which means it's sustainable and does not emit greenhouse gases that will be harmful to the environment and human health. Additionally, wave energy is more environmental friendly than energy derived from conventional fossil fuel such as coal or oil. Wave was created by the wind blowing across the sea surface. Energy transferred from the wind to the wave as long as wave grow more slowly and the wind speed directly above. The up and down movement of floating object position on the ocean surface generate wave power. To simply put, the wind creates wave which then create energy. Modern technology uses the natural motions of water, of water currents and surge to generate power as the wave move over the ocean. Fundamentally, wave energy is generated from wave. Wave receive energy from the wind when it blows across the sea surface. Wave height, wave speed, wavelength, and wave density are used to gauge energy output. The ability to generate power increases with wave strength. The energy that's gathered can subsequently be used to pump water or create electricity in power plant. For the background study, in Paris 1799, first wave energy pattern was issued. Direct mechanical action was suggested by Monsieur Girard and his son to powering large piece of equipment like mills, saws, and pumps. After the initial patents, hundreds more did as well. Between 1895 and 1973 alone in the UK, there were 340 patents. 1910 saw so another early implementation. Buko Prisi created a tool to power and light up his home. In Japan, a naval commander named Yoshio Masuda was the inventor of modern wave energy. Several hundred of the wave energy devices that Masuda tested at sea were used to power the navigation lights. Masuda also credited with creating a number of wave energy innovation, including the oscillating water column and the kaimi, a massive barge that initially employed for small-scale navigation and testing platform. The 1973 oil crisis sparked a new, a renewed interest in wave energy due to oil export were banned by a member of Organization of Arab Petroleum Exporting Countries, which led people to explore alternative sources of energy. Among these early innovators was Stephen Salter, who is well known for creating the Salter stock, which used wave energy to generate electricity. There are few places that are erecting wave farm because wave energy is still relatively young. Portugal, the United Kingdom, Australia, and the United States are among major locations of wave farm. The Agu Cadora wave farm in Portugal is the world's first wave farm. It was built, it was built to utilize three pilamis wave energy converters and is located about three miles offshore north of Porto. It was formally opened in September 2008 and has 2.25 megawatt install capacity but it was shut down because of the financial catastrophe brought on by the economic crisis. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Azubin Syam and my metric number is 2009 and 2000. So, I will cover for the theory part, which is my part is related the process and working principle. So, let's proceed.
Okay, there are three types of wave power generation that I choose, which is the first one is point absorber buoy PAB, the second one is oscillating water column OWC, and the third one is overtopping device. Okay, for the point absorber buoy PAB, what is PAB? So, PAB is a floating structure or submerged below the surface of the water relying on pressure differential. It has symmetrical shape and vertically installed in the water. The sea wave acts on PAB producing a vertical movement of the buoy followed by the part of the linear generator. The movement between piston and stator will create the electromagnetic field. The generator is fixed to an underwater support and the power is transferred to the post VR. The piston based linear generator is used to produce energy from the continuous up down movement of the buoy. So, uh, this is the block diagram of the PAB. We start with ocean wave and the uh, wave energy converter with buoy. And then the process at the buoy will create the mechanical process. And uh, at linear generator, it will produce the electricity. That's all from PAB. And next, move to the. And next, move to the oscillating water column OWC. OWC it consists of a chamber with an opening to the sea below the water line, enclosing a column of air on top of a column water. Wave liquid mounted device is an example of an onshore system which consists of two main parts, which is the air chamber and the power take of PTO subsystem. The air chamber is open to the seaside of receiving wave energy and transforming this energy into compressed air at this state. Enclosed air will pass through the turbine in the PTO mechanism which convert kinematic energy into mechanical energy. The rotor in the generator produces the magnetic flux that is essential to the production of the electric power. An OWC device can be installed onshore acting as a terminator of or as a PAB system in the offshore location. So for the block diagram, we will start with the ocean wave and the ocean wave will compress the air in the chamber and then the compressed air will spin the turbine and create a mechanical process and then the generator will produce the electricity and that's all for OWC and next we move the overtopping device okay for the overtopping device actually it is the oldest strategy of using wave energy located in offshore site the incident wave energy is captured by a water storage reservoir above the sea level and then release the water back to the sea through the hydro turbine. Actually, this device is similar to the hydroelectric power plant. The generator is driven by turbines that convert the potential energy of falling or fast, fall, fast flowing water into mechanical energy for this electricity. So the block diagram will be the start with the ocean wave and then the sea water will uh, flow into the, the turbine outlet so the, it will be spin the turbine and then uh, at that will cause the mechanical process and then the generator will produce the electricity. So that's all for our topic device. Thank you.
the wind blow at very speed because the gravitational force is distributed differently at each layer. Wind can be classified into a few areas. Okay, first, this is the wavelength. The wavelength is the distance between the peak and the throw of two successive waves. Then next, this is wave height. The wave height is the vertical distance between a wave peak and its subsequent throw. For the wave frequency, the number of the wave press passing point A each second. And then for the uh, wave period, the time required for the wave press at point A to reach point B. Next, I will explain about the related formula. So, first, from the kinetic energy. Kinetic energy can be produced from the boil or turbine motion because of the wave movement. So, this kinetic energy related to the, uh, this formula, which is uh, E for the kinetic energy, rho for the water density, G for the acceleration due to gravity and A for the wave amplitude. Next, after produce kinetic energy, it will change to mechanical energy. Mechanical energy. This energy produced from the motion of the stator in cylindrical shape. The motion of the stator will cut the magnetic flux and will produce electrical energy. This is the formula for mechanical energy which is E for the electromotive force P is for magnetic flux and T is for wave period. Next, lastly, is electrical energy. This energy is produced from the mechanical process. This electrical power will store in the storage before sent to the load. This electric power can be calculated by using this formula to produce voltage that generate. So this is the formula for the electrical energy, which is uh, N for the turn of copper wire, B is magnetic flux, A cross section area, and T for the time. The next, I will explain about the capacity. So, for this part, I will give one example with power station, which is it located at South China Sea, Meram Shore, Trangayu, Malaysia. This power station is using a attenuated type with converter, which is it installed wave star device. So this is the wave star device. Why this location is suitable for this power station? It is because the wave height is quite high. The wave period also not too low, which is the wave height is 0 0.95 meter and wave period is 3.5 second. From the calculation, the total of the electrical power obtained is 649 megawatt hour per year. So that's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Abdul Muzi bin Abdul The number is 2110915. So I am from uh, Group 1. So now, what will I present? I will present about the stage of the type of power generation in the energy mix. Okay, so now we will see energy mix in some test as well, countries or every countries. For the whole, we can see uh, Indonesia is the most highest is percentage of uh, the coal in the sector sector, which is you can see 51 percent. Uh, this is because Indonesia is the most uh, is the is the world the largest coal coal produce after China and India after registering strong growth of 8.5 8.9 percent in 2021. Indonesia coal mine uh, production is expected to be the uh, uh, 2.6 percent years on year, year on year growth to reach uh, 6, 6 to 9.9 MT in 2022. So, Brunei Darussalam is the country with most natural gas of all the nation at Southeast Asia. All of Brunei uh, gas and 90 percent of this come from the offshore field. Brunei Shell Petroleum PSD is the largest oil producer in Brunei and its background Brunei's economy. It's contribute around 90% Brunei, Brunei's oil and gas revenues uh, which, which is 90% of total export any. Okay, for the oil energy target is the most higher of percentage in Southeast Asia which is 43%. 40, that is, is an oil and natural gas producer. The country is increasingly 
uh, realized and on high level imports to uh, the state uh, is rising uh, full demand and then we will see for the hydro hydro uh, Myanmar is the most higher percentage uh, Myanmar has an undeveloped hydro power potential estimate at 108 gigawatts uh, which is more than 10, 10 times the current total electricity generating capacity from all source combined including fossil fuel and renewable energy and then for the geothermal, geothermal you can see of the uh, Philippines the geothermal power plant is most important for Philippines because its location uh, along the ring of fire zone of Pacific Volcanoes is considerable, stable than uh, most of the energy source uh, so and the last one for other renewable uh, for the uh, we do backup which is uh, 5.63% so backup has good renewable energy source including solar, wine, biomass and hydropower having renewable source uh, that are sufficient and readily available the country is well positioned to meet its surging energy needs through identity power okay, for the next part compare three of the power generation already existing in Somalia we can choose Mesa, Brunei and the Philippines Okay, for the Asia, uh, we have uh, between 1.5 between 1 m and 1 meter and 3 meter and then wave periods 6 to 9 seconds. They correspond to wave with substantial wave height between uh, 1 and 3 meter and wave periods uh, of 6 to 9 seconds for the northern section and uh, for the duration of the course. Uh, wave height of 1, 1 to 1 meter to 2 meter and wave periods of 7 to 9 seconds for the southern section of the course. Uh, this is a uh, wave with suitable wave height uh, for the southern section of this course. And then, uh, uh, can generate can be work at Sabah and Sarawak because the maximum sea deep in Peninsula Mesa is just about 90 meters. There are not spot areas for more than, uh, for more than 10 kilowatt. Uh, 10 kilowatt per meter of energy plate of the of 30 meter to 100 meter can generate more energy back than a dip of 100 meter to 26 uh, 250 meter and this has the potential of produce up to 69.41 uh, megawatt per hour per meter of energy. Okay, for the next uh, complete is Brunei for the comparison. Uh, wave height at Brunei can go 1.5 meter. Okay, the maximum of the average power that can that may be generated is 4 at 7 kilowatts in December. Okay, average power in April is 44, 4, uh, 54, uh, 54 kilowatt because uh, the lowest market average power we lost to the month of uh, April, which is 54 uh, kilowatts, which is this, uh, the lowest for the uh, the lowest of the month of April. Okay, ocean wave might, might generate 50. 15 until 126 gigawatt. Brunei uh, Rosalak Kosna is approximately 269 kilometer uh, long, implying that ocean wave might generate uh, 15 to 126 gigawatt. The theoretical yearly potential of which energy is 60C uh, times 10 uh, power of 10 watt for the third country is Philippines. As we know, Philippines is a ring of fire zone of Pacific Ocean. So we have wave height in the number is 0 at the meter. So uh, the potential of ocean energy in the Philippines uh, in Philippines is estimated 170,000 uh, megawatt. Okay, this is update by Philippines uh, by update Philippine Department. So the, the Philippine government and blue energy engineering company of Canada uh, came to an agreement to construct a 200, uh, 2200 megawatt wave power plant in the San, San Bernardino Strait. Okay. The structure designed, uh, designed to withstand typhoon wind winds of 150 mph mph and tsunami wave of 7, 7 meter. Uh, 7 meter uh, of a series debit turbine. So, uh, in the theoretical potential, potential of the Philippine power wave in stream, in stream energy to be 200 gigawatt of which uh, 40 to 60 gigawatt is practically extractable. Okay, done for me. That's all for me. Thank you. Okay, for the part government commitment towards promoting a sustainable power generation. Okay, in Malaysia, ocean renewable energy as an alternative energy 
resource is considered to be more suitable for local grids for remote areas and coastal communities. Malaysia is also carrying out RD&D works in relation to potential wind and OTEC ocean renewable energy resources for small island projects. As for the Vietnamese, Vietnamese government agencies in collaboration with research institutes, institutes have worked on different RD&D ocean renewable energy projects since 2000 to test the theoretical ocean renewable energy potential of the country. One example is the Institute of Energy Science of Vietnam Academy of Science and Technology, which studies and builds wave energy prototype at laboratory and demonstration scales. For the Brunei government, the Brunei government has several policy tools available to increase the rate of return on new technology and encourage its development, including direct government funding and R&D. Tax incentive of for R&D, intellectual property protections, and the formation of cooperative relationship between universities and the private sector. Strategic goals to target to achieve 10% renewable energy in total primary energy by 2035. That's all for this part. Thank you. Next, I would like to explain on the advantages, disadvantages, and the environmental issues related to this power generation. The advantages are reduces dependency on fossil fuels F as wave energy consumes no fossil fuels during operation. The area needed is small and there is no significant negative impact towards marine ecosystem within the extraction area. Next, the wave energy converters may provide habitats for organisms in a way that is not harmful to the converter operation. Pollution free as wave energy gener generates little or no pollution to the environment compared to the other green energies. And lastly, wave energy is relatively consistent and predictable as waves can be accurately forecast several days in advance. There are also disadvantages of this power generation. Firstly, intermittent power generation as the waves come in intervals and does not generate power during calm periods. Next, energy generation from wave is presently too costly to be even considered as renewable energy. Installation and maintenance costs are much higher for offshore conversion systems than shoreline since the offshore ones are more difficult to access. Wave energy converter technologies may contain potentially harmful components such as hydraulic oil or poisonous paints that can get released to the environment. And lastly, offshore wave energy devices can be a threat to navigation that cannot see or detect them by radar. Next, I would like to explain the environmental issues related to this power generation. Installations close to the coast may have an impact on marine life that migrates to and from the shore. They may also cause unnatural silt buildups that obstruct the natural sediment flow, which may have an impact on the marine ecosystem. Devices that use hydraulic fluids to convert energy may leak if they are not strong enough to survive the powerful ocean currents and waves. Leaking can help and an impact on other marine users in addition to the environment and marine animals. In conclusion, a different renewable energy source that could help with the global energy dilemma is wave energy. For nations that are surrounded by water, notably Malaysia, wave energy will be advantageous. The most difficult component, however, has been obtaining wave, wave energy because most technologies are still in the early stages of development. Wave energy is a renewable energy source that produces power without the emissions of greenhouse gases or acid rain that come from burning fossil fuels.